I left the relative safety of Sanctuary and ventured once more into the night. The industrial quarter of Meridian was, I discovered, a heavily guarded fortress. Rather than assault it directly, I stole into the workers' commons and began my quest for the Nexus Stone there.
hear that? Fair one. It sounds like farting below, and then a thump. A thump? Like a body striking the floor. That's an evil kind of thump. What should we do? Well, I always do. Go on like we never heard nothing. Stay back! Somebody help me, please! Ah! Ah! What are you? Humans never look twice in my direction. Little do they realize their future lord walks among them. Now, tell me of this place. Umar tells me the Nexus Stone will be found in the main factory beyond the dam. There will be a gondola to take you there. If this is deactivated, you must look below for the glyph to repower it. But be careful of the guards. Have you any further wisdom to dispense? I sense the presence of another vampire close by. He may be watching you. I will whisper you again when it is needful. Once again, I began to feel the obligations of power. To deal justice fairly to all. One day my people would know me again for their lord. But the vampires who were traitors to their kind would know me first of all. Yo! 
Help me! Help! Ah! Ah! Oh! seen anything like that? Don't touch it! I heard it's magical and dangerous. Oh, they say that about everything. The workers move them all the day. Come on, won't do any harm to...
please. Don't hurt me. Thank <laughs> you. 
What? 
Sire! A body! We found a body, sire! It won't be the last. He is here. I sense the taint of his overblown elegance. Double the guards in the power chamber. 
He must not be allowed to approach the Nexus Stone. Who is it, sire? An old friend who will learn his place in the world at last. If you see or hear anything out of the ordinary, report to me at once. scaring me.
please, don't hurt me. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Behold the great Cain, now a common thief. The fiend that dogged my shadow showed himself at last, and in the light, I knew him. Another visage from my past. Sebastian, it is you who have been following me. And how long it took you to discover it? My master sent me to prevent your meddling further, and now you must die. Your master knows his days are numbered. I might have spared your life by asking that you join me, but I learned that lesson 200 years ago. You arranged the ambush that destroyed my army. You sold yourself to our enemy. I dealt the blow that cost you the war. Glorious, was it not? So many killed so quickly, and all my doing. I never learned why. Did you think I would serve while you ruled Nosgoth? You and not I? The Seraphon Lord knows how to value me. I am to rule by his side and achieve what you never could. You fool! Do you think that butcher will permit you to live one moment longer than he has need of you? I will save you from your disappointment, Sebastian, and kill you now. I have waited 200 years for the pleasure of killing you with my own hands. While you have been sleeping, my powers have been increasing. You haven't the smallest chance of defeating me.
with my own trick. Oh. 
Tell me of the Nexus Stone and this portal. What is its purpose here? Speak, and I will spare your life. <coughs> Come, Cain. You lie in your throat and we both know it. You are going to kill me. Indulge me then, before you die. I'll tell you so that I may see your face when you learn. You are powerless. You cannot win. Your death is inevitable. The Nexus Stone's portal leads to an ancient device, deep underground, that will spell your destruction, Kane. A new reign will begin in Nosgoth. What is the purpose of this device? How will it serve the Seraphan Lord? Alas, he has not entrusted me with that knowledge. But soon, everyone will know it. His plans are even now coming into fruition. Where is the device? Where? Under the Earth. It lies beneath Meridian. Seek for it, if you will. I die happy in the knowledge that all your efforts will be wasted. Oh, Sebastian. Our destiny could have been glorious. The land was ours for the taking. History would have been rewritten in our image. But not everyone shared my vision. And now your time is up. Your death will only make me stronger. I hope that knowledge comforts you in your grave.
You are welcome back. How do you feel? A little better than dead. How did I come here? You are fortunate. One of our vampires saw you thrown from the roof of the factory as it was destroyed. He carried you here. The Seraphan were too occupied to notice you. Ah, I see that you have the Nexus Stone. And I see that you were courteous enough not to relieve me of it while I lay unconscious. I met another old friend, a vampire, guarding it. Before I killed him, he told me something unsettling. He spoke of an ancient device underground that will bring about victory for the Seraphan Lord. What do you know of this, Forador? I have heard tell of strange discoveries deep underground. Ancient legends speak of huge machines deep in the earth, left by the gods in eons past. And I know of one who can tell us the truth of this matter. She is a seer, a being said to be older even than I. We are fortunate in that she owes me a favor. Go to her, Kay, and learn what she knows. Go to her? This city is a walled fortress. How do you propose I get out? There is a secret way out of the city. I will show it to you. You may follow a canyon that leads north to her abode. The way will not be easy. Strange beasts roam outside the city preying on travelers. The people call them demons. I believe I've met one of these already. I hope your seer's knowledge is worth the risk. <laughs>